I am not also uh, going not to get enjoying, to this basic fact, which Mr. Let me let me just finish. I didn't interrupt you, Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudi. Please don't be rude okay, by interrupting sir. me. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Rudi can put the entire blame of the universe of all the world and all the other corrupt acts of congressmen into this program, but he can't change one simple fact that the format of this program is Karnataka and the Reddy Brothers. So it's no point going to the entire history of the universe. That's not going to explain the corruption of the Reddy Brothers or of the BJP support. You are support. caught badly now, That's Mr. the question you are answering. And that's the answer which you are getting in eloquent silence. Number oh. three is important. Yes, it is supremely, it's almost ironical and funny that Mr. Rudy is talking about the Congress and the Reddy Brothers. Here you have the Reddy Brothers sharing power as ministers for years and years. Since the BJP government in Karnataka is formed, they are not Congress ministers, however much Mr. Uh, Rudy might want the public to think so. Here is Mr. Jaganmohan Reddy in Andhra Pradesh, who virtually from inception has been on a warpath against the Congress, has, is not a member of the Congress anymore, and is fighting and abusing the Congress right, left and centre. And here is Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudy, putting both the Reddy brothers and Mr. Jaganmohan Reddy into the Congress fold. Whereas that's the only defence he can find this fine evening today when the Reddy brothers have been arrested. No, sir, but I would say good luck to him with, the, Dr. Pop Singh with, the, with the public. But Dr. Singhvi, why did the investigations into the Reddy brothers begin only after the death of YSR? Why were they allowed a free reign till then? There is. Did everybody suddenly I'll wake up to why. the wrongdoings of the Bellari brothers? I'll tell you why. Yes, uh, I'll tell you why. There, is, there was a very strong suspicion and a general view across media, across politicians, across public life, across governments, that the Reddy brothers were not only corrupt, but had completely rapaciously dealt with the entire Bellari region, not only in money and mining terms, but in environmental terms. With the support but of the Andhra government. Only after detailed, one second, it is only after the detailed documentation of uh, partly of Mr. Hegde's Lokayev's report and some other reports that this came in a written form. Thereafter, the matter went to the Supreme Court on the environmental front. They also stopped mining there and directed further looking into it. It is in that context that the CBI has got active. And obviously, Sir, the uh, obviously, the most important fact was that screaming and fighting and shouting, Mr. Yadurappa and the Reddy brothers ultimately had to leave office. No, as I long agree. as they were no, in but, office, it was not easy. But Mr. Who decides to call him the CBI? Dr. Singhvi. Does. Dr. Singhvi, now, with, with all is, respect. This is a reality. No, a reality. I, I, you, many of the points you made are factually completely correct. But I'd like to humbly submit one, one small point on the side, which you will also agree that the same committee, Supreme Court committee, which you refer to, it said there is a total connivance of the local government in Andhra Pradesh. The local government was the Congress party. And they said that this could not have taken place without the active connivance of the state government. I think they said that. Let me get Justice Santosh Shekhne. Is there answers. any doubt? I have two answers. Yeah, okay. Very quickly, two answers. One, if you have evidence of connivance or illegality with the Andhra government, by all means, Please carry it on your channel and please have action taken. I can't have two standards. The Congress has never had two standards. Secondly and more importantly, Mr. Jaganmohan Reddy is under CBI scanner for a while. Hmm. It is he who is abusing the Congress. But his so assets... It is actually Mr. Jaganmohan Reddy, close association with the Reddy brothers, both of which are non-Congress associations. No, no, but Don't but talk about pre-2009 and all that. It's long way past. But isn't Jagan's assets largely borne by inheritance? I mean, Jagan... Is, is, is into active politics for the last couple of years or a little bit more. His, his, well, his yeah, assets are largely by inheritance, but that's not the issue. That's not the issue. The issue is, Justice Santosh Egde, is there any doubt about the cross-party, cross-state clout across BJP, across Congress, across Andhra, across Karnataka that these Reddy brothers have held? What is your view? Well, uh, I don't want to comment on that because it is a political issue, but I would like to bring to your notice one factor. Uh, Mr. Dhananjay Kumar went on saying, uh, what is my report? It has to be studied and then thereafter only act, government will decide to take action or not uh, take action. I would like to tell him one thing, you know, that uh, uh, as against the chief minister, I had to write to the governor because he is the sanctioning authority. The governor has given the sanction and an FIR has been filed by the Lokayakta police and all. As, as against uh, Reddy's, it is the government which should have taken uh, steps against the Reddy's filing an FIR. They have not done it. 
today they have uh, uh, they are not in the ministry therefore there is no law which requires them to um, take any sanction from the government why have they not the police filed an fir uh, in the court and uh, the private parties have filed it it is there before the um, uh, yes. court yes. i was saying similarly when the, uh, against uh, um, uh, the kumar swami former chief minister in on one count i found him guilty now they are very happy they are because the private complaint is already filed and all the everybody saying he is corrupt and everything why can't the government of the day file an fir i am not saying punish them i want i want the right to punish let the court decide it let them file an fir let them face a criminal charge exactly. is not the um, report of a local actor enough for that well i i dhananjay kumar is not here but rajiv rudi has heard you mr rudi you can't have different well, applications of the law when the when the yes, violations let, of the yeah, i have heard him as i can extreme, uh, as extreme yes. in karnataka in fact more than andhra pradesh yes yes what mr hegde is saying that i agree with him he has done a real good job working over the years finding and investigating i have no denial for what he has done and i think what he is saying is has a lot of points and this is possibly a folly we which we which we must accept but at the same time this cannot be attributed to the entire bharatiya janata party i am i am very i i can i can very 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 i can very humbly say that there are mistakes there there are visible wrongs action should have but been taken you can't file an fir and that, that we you can't file yes, an fir am i saying it should so his question is fir his file. question is his question <coughs> but, is but, why can't you even file an fir in karnataka are they I so are they so, so important i think it's a it's a it's a very important thing i think mr santosh shegre has worked hard and whatever is a fact and whatever should be rightfully done should be rightfully done in karnataka there is no, absolutely no they not taking no a position back on that and mr rudi you're not taking a position then if i am saying it should be, if i say it should not be done then you say it, no, you no, are sir. wrong if no. i say it should be done then again you no, say no, it sir. is I, wrong I'm asking. after all what should i say no 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 you should not. what i'm saying is on the political part of it i find so much to and fro what abhishek manu singh bhi says to tu mai mai when i when i ask when anyone asks a specific question i'm not getting an answer my question to you is your response to your as in your bjp's response hey, how was, can you get specific answer how can you get such specific answers specific when you know there are wrong things so why can't you be candid why can't be candid in their wrongs and we need to correct it okay you, you correct it but yes let me try anyway let me try you question yes. you as in the yes. bjp question yeah. the timing and intentions of the cbi you called it a congress bureau of investigation yes, that, all that. that no no does that take away from the charges against the reddy brothers and the fact that while they have been pulled up in andhra in karnataka there's not even an fir against them yes this is a very valid question and i think if there are charges there should be but what is most <laughs> more, what what we are concerned today is the action of the government you see when the congress has been great no, no. from all sides from charges of corruption it's on baba ram dev they slap no, an no. ed notice it is on anna anna hazare colleagues they say they are corrupt and they had some no. some issues in uh, the notices slapped on them so it's 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 happening and that is the congress jagan reddy son of the Sir, former chief minister of andhra pradesh now he has been now my only point is the whole action of the congress party and the cbi becomes a suspect sure you can say no no you can say not common you, or even you can you can say you can say that i asked dr singh you can say the cbi you can say the cbi is biased the cbi is pursuing an agenda of its own but justice santosh hegre who in the last 2 minutes whose work you have praised five times is simply asking a question you I can't file an fir against him you see and you you are saying I that's a great suggestion a and valid suggestion and i i think i think if there is a cause to be established then it should be done it this should is, be done that's this it. is what i feel should be done but after all you Dr. see i Dr. cannot Singh. be advising people there what should be done this point without saying goes very well what mr santosh okay, agree has done and most of the people would be agree Last to that but having said that i would again repeat the charges made by digvijay singh is a charge okay, that's below the belt He is a person who is a person who was supporting, who was who who, who challenged the Batla House encounter, supporting the terrorists. No, no, no. He is no. a man. So all these no, things yeah. have to be brought to brought to the table and discussed. Yeah. Dr. Singh, we there is the Congress party which is which is following a politics of vendetta and making a statements See, against Anna Hazare, against Baba Ramdev, again. and all those people who are fighting corruption. Right. All those people who are talking about black money and BJP Sir, is at the forefront. talking about corruption Sir, fighting about corruption you cannot you, I, 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 i let abhishek manu singh be respond actually i'm not going to get drawn into this i let abhishek manu singh be respond to the last point arnab, you made arnab, there arnab, arnab. yes sir arnab uh, there is nothing to respond